Hello, hello, everyone. So uh, right now I'm here, Carter Gilliam from the Teams platform, and I'm here to talk everything about custom co-pilots and how you can build it on Teams with the Teams AI library. Um, so we're going to start out, again, diving into custom co-pilots, how you can build your own, and specifically how the Teams AI library can accelerate your pro-code AI development for those custom co-pilots and teams. I'll go through a demo using GPT Vision for a car gazer, that'll be fun. And then I'll end with uh, the how you can get started and how you can contact me for more questions along the way. So just to get everyone on the same page on what we're about, uh, we have Copilot is Microsoft's, uh, Microsoft's flagship AI, which is fantastic at utilizing uh, natural language to and, and advanced reasoning to do SWOT analysis, create images. It has a broad range of capabilities that uh, I'm sure many of you are aware of. But the what I think is even more impressive are the underlying building blocks that create Copilot can do so much more. And that's where custom co-pilots come in. We're at Microsoft, we are democratizing this technology so that you can build your own co-pilots to have specialized capabilities specific for your app or your company and uh, utilizing all the same underlying technologies that Microsoft Copilot has, but for your own uh, use case. And, um, you know, users are coming to expect a lot of these natural language experiences. So we're here to really help you out and thrive in this new era of AI. And let's go ahead. And so how can you go ahead and build your custom co pilot right now? There's uh, two main options where you have Microsoft Copilot Studio uh, on the right hand side of the slide where it's a low code and a graphical development environment for building custom co-pilots. And you might remember Power Virtual Agents, this will help upgrade those to custom co-pilots. Um, but I'm here to talk about the other option, which is for pro code developers, where you can uh, you know, develop custom co-pilots in your pro code environment in Visual Studio Code or Visual Studio using the Teams AI library. Uh, for utilizing the Teams UX for your chat experiences, and then a platform like Azure OpenAI for the GPT models that power those AI experiences. So this option has a team-centric focus and capabilities where you can you know, utilize message extensions, adaptive cards, everything that Teams has to offer, and ease in that transition to uh, reach all of your Teams users. If you're familiar with the bot framework and have an existing Teams apps, this can also help upgrade your app with AI. And one of my favorite things about it is that all that's required is a Teams license to for your users to uh, use what you build. And it's based off of pay as you go consumption model. So it's just uh, you know, the amount you use for those models from Azure Open AI uh, or the services you use, you get charged for. So um, Let's dive in a little bit more into how it works. Like I was saying, all you have to do, get a model from Azure OpenAI, plug it in with the Teams AI library software development kit, and then you do a little bit of prompt engineering where you just uh, type out what you want the model to do, and then it transforms that into natural, uh, you know, a natural language processing akin to a custom cat chat gbt like experience that where, where you can add in also moderation to make sure every, the flow of the conversation is is on track and protected for what you want we have a planning engine that guides the conversation and will extract the intent of the user to then map it to actions all in natural language and then you can add your data with retrieval gen augmentation generation to any of the prompts to get uh specific uh responses directly to uh, related to your data. And what does that all look like when you put together? I have ChefBot here. And about the Teams AI library. 
And so ChefBot is one of the samples that we have with the Teams AI library, and he's connected to all of our getting started data. So he's a product expert on the Teams AI library. And right here, he's able to uh, give us the top three things about the Teams AI library, talking about building apps in Microsoft 365 applications with the bot framework, JavaScript, type, uh, TypeScript support, as well as AI capabilities with large language models. So that's a pretty good answer, and you could build the exact same thing uh, with the Teams AI library, and we'll dive into that in uh, just a moment. But it's you know beyond uh, you know having conversational chat, you can also have, uh, we've had customers link it to be a financial expert. So you have a lot of private proprietary data. You can do multifaceted analysis where it goes, puts together multiple different data sources to do instant analysis and processing uh, for, for advanced reasoning and, and analysis of all that information at once. And special teams, you can control the stage. I know David did a call a couple months back where he created a 3D world in Teams with the Teams AI library and connected to open source products. And then if you also have open AI assistance already on Teams, you can bring your intelligent assistance from open AI into Teams easily and reach 320 plus million users that we have in chats, channels, and meetings. So it's pro code, pro customization, pro opportunities. The doors are open for you. And so, that leads into a quick demo that I'll go ahead and bring up here with uh, the Card Gazer. And so the Card Gazer does AI vision support and turns images into uh, a code for adaptive card. And let's go ahead and dive into it. So right now I am in Visual Studio Code. I have the Teams Toolkit uh, installed. I'm logged in with side loading enabled, and I've already linked up to the Teams, uh, clone the Teams AI repository with all of the samples. And at the end, I'll show you the getting started guide where you can easily do the same to get all set up. But once you have the samples open, and this one, the card gazer sample, all you have to do is you just rename the sample.env file to env, and then you get a uh, um, an open AI key and just plug that in. And then uh, you can just uh, change the prompt that you're working with. So right here, this is the prompt file. And so this uh, commands what the GPT will do in, in Teams. And right here with the sample, it's already loaded with saying it's a friendly assistant with vision support. And then uh, once you have the models going, you just press F5 and then um, the Teams toolkit takes care of uh, locally loading everything for you, and we'll load it, uh, load the sample right up so we can uh, test it out. And uh, all right, so it's coming up. And just wait one moment. So. All right, here we go. Now we are uh, loading up Teams. And just takes a, takes a moment for the side loading. And so now you're in Teams, you can go ahead and of course, like I was saying, you can add it to a chat team or a meeting. We'll just go ahead and add it to a one on one chat here and let's see uh, how it loads up. And here is the card gazer. So we're back in Teams and we can go ahead and interact, say hello. And then just give it a moment. So. All right, comes back, says that can help us with adaptive cards and so. Uh, I've already found an adaptive card that I want to uh, get the code for. Oh, sorry. Set in. Then, a second. So, show me the code for the adaptive card. Send that off. 
And so for for advanced uh, advanced tasks like this, where it is using GP24 vision, looking at the image of that adaptive card, and then searching the, the code base, looking for uh, what code will recreate uh, this same adaptive card. Now, uh, you know, for simple conversations, it'll respond quick. For something like this, it might take a, a moment. And then you could see here when we go back into the Teams uh, tool, uh, VS Code, you can see that in the terminal, this it's thinking through the responses. And it says that the, the JSON had errors. And that's OK because uh, the Teams AI library has it advanced a reason to go and try and work through and repair some of these things for doing advanced tasks uh, like creating code. And so then we'll keep going through and then hopefully find an, an answer for us for a moment. And while that's going on, I'll dive into uh, beyond the prompts, how it's linking is we have actions right here where you can see the send adaptive card to user uh, as well as showing the user the JSON for the adaptive card. So it's easy to, to set up these actions and then link it. And then it looks like the response is already back in Teams and ready. And then we can see that Cardgazer has created the code for the adaptive card. All right, awesome. Now we can go ahead and just say, send me the adaptive Hard. So let's go ahead and see what the adaptive card looks like and see what it matches. So now that's created all the code already, I think we'll be uh, a little bit faster on this end. Um, so we'll just wait a second. All right, and here we go. That looks looks pretty similar. <laughs> we even have the options of five minutes, ten minutes, and you can click all be late so you can link that to the back end of your app. And uh, so that's a pretty advanced task with the Teams AI library. And we'll just dive in one more section just to show all the different components the Teams AI library is building for you when you utilize it. Um, so you can have, uh, this is where you can have uh, your AI components where it lists and you can change the GP2 models. Here we have GPT-4 vision listed. We also have planners, attachment loaders, and a lot of this is already built in. And what you have to do, add in the prompt, add in your custom actions, and then just select the model that you want, as well as uh, the, uh, um, no, the no, code, and then you are good to run. And so that is the card gazer uh, model. And then you can go ahead and uh start building your own custom co-pilots today with the teams ai library we already have js and c sharp available with python coming soon we have tons of different samples to help you build whatever app uh, you're interested in building and again only a team's license is needed to build and use when you have the uh, large language models though they can get from azure OpenAI or OpenAI, and you can build new or upgrade your app and you can go ahead and get started with the, the going to the aka.ms teams ai library for the learn documentation which also has a quick start guide to walk you through everything that you just saw today and uh, then get and download all the samples to help you get started creating your own apps, as well as the GitHub link is right down below. And I'm Carter, and then my LinkedIn's uh, right at the bottom. So feel free to contact me with any questions. And I'm incredibly excited to see what you all build. Mm -hmm.